So it's been about two years since Donald Trump got elected to president of the United States. And I just started thinking like, what can we derive from this? Because this guy had no political experience. He never ran for any office. He's just, he just gotten money from his father and just failed at so many companies that he filed for bankruptcy multiple times. And then he got elected as president of the United States. You know, it's one thing to say the Republican Party fucking put that shit forward. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? But then it's another thing to say, yeah, the Democratic Party lost to that shit. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? But it's obvious that the Democratic Party lost because Hillary Clinton's a horrible person and everybody knew that she cheated, amongst other things. Anyways, so what can we, like, derive from Donald Trump as president of the United States and the situation that we currently have? Because there are a lot of people who are like, well, you know, the country is great. The economy is great and everything. And of course, you know, those people are like up the Republican Party's ass and up Donald Trump's ass and everything. But still, you know, it isn't doomsday, as some people said. So what I'm getting from this is Donald Trump is just like kind of another Ronald Reagan, just another actor. And he's getting lines and stuff from people who are giving him the money. The other political people also, the po political powerful people. At this point, it seems like the President of the United States doesn't have as much power as they would think that they, that they have. Yeah, there's still checks and balances, and if you're not playing ball, playing the politi politics game with the other branches of power, then you really don't have much power as pre President of the United States. But uh, a lot of people like in the Senate and in Congress altogether, they have been helping Donald Trump, Democrats and Republicans. So just all you have, you can be anybody and just play ball with military industrial complex and the money people, the money interests and all that stuff. And, you know, you'll just be another president. I remember when uh, all these news people just kept railing against Trump until he actually bombed Syria, I think it was. I know he bombed some country in the Middle East. It's become too obvious now. Just like with Ronald Reagan, Donald Trump is just some unexperienced fool who's just listening to the money and interest. Just like with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was fucking governor of California. A Republican governor, of course. That's what the Republicans like. They just like actors. But uh, that's where we're at right now. Hopefully, politics will change in the future. I am kind of thinking about jumping ship, like the actual country I'm leaving, thinking of leaving the country but then there's part of me that was like let's fucking get into politics and just crank the speakers up to 11 or something but uh we'll see what happens i don't know a collapse of the economy could come because obama didn't really fix much of the stuff that collapsed the economy back in 2008 he was president for eight years and got handed a crumbling economy by a republican president and he just fixed some of the you know, fucked up shit. The econ economy collapsed, he put it back together, but he didn't fix what made the economy collapse, basically. So, yeah, the economy could collapse again. It probably is going to, but, you know, that's just also what has been happening in our economy. When you look at history and banks and all that stuff, and our country is definitely not as good and well situated as some people think it is. It is a clusterfuck. But I, I'm just rambling at this point. This is what I think we can derive from Trump. But you guys can uh, leave your comments down below if you have differing opinion. If you have the same opinion, it doesn't matter. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more political stuff. I guess that's it. See you guys later.